Tower raid is mid, or that's what you hear. Tower raid is actually quite good if you know what you are doing. There is room for improvements, yes, but also I discovered a way to enjoy this game mode to the fullest, although only if you play alone. I don't know how it works in co-op. I played it on stream once it was released and after that I played it again yesterday, but this time on my own and I got to the top. And I enjoyed it to some extent, but it felt like a beta and <laughs> I know this statement doesn't make sense because it is beta, but let me explain. As veterans, we didn't know what to expect from tower raid, so we played on normal and that was it. We based our opinion on one play too and only some of us actually played it on some other difficulty. In this video, I will not only give feedback, but also present a list of things I personally would like to see and I think majority of people would like to see too. And I'll start with these ones because that's probably the most entertaining part of this video. So here we are with tower raid review. So I went to my bag and grabbed all of the most powerful weapons, 1k damage, rose axe, axe of orion and a lot of firepower. I repaired all my weapons and went straight into the tower raid. At first I was playing on normal difficulty cause I wanted to test how the tower raid plays on normal, hard and nightmare difficulty. So in this video I will also make an overview of difficulty in this game mode. So tune in for the second part of the video cause it's gonna be a long one. My first playthrough went smoothly and I had so much luck that my first flow was 18 with a positive modifier. It was a boss fight with GRE anomaly, basically the same thing as in open world but with bigger arena. But I can't say that arena was better, it lacked some verticality and climbing objects as well as something I call arena design but more of that later. On this playthrough I had positive modifier on each floor and getting to the top was easy but enjoyable as a first playthrough. Keep in mind that I was playing after third phase update so I had the full experience with all the modifiers and floors added. But once I got to the top I got amazed. It felt like playing Left 4 Dead 2 for the first time again and arriving to the mall but sadly there was no Jimmy Gibbs car waiting for me. The fight itself was cool although flares and molotovs really trivialized it. Although I still had to shoot a lot. If you are playing for the first time, you're gonna have a blast. But despite all of that, I still think there is a lot to improve. I know Techland probably won't even see this video and I also know for sure that the surveys they post on Discord don't do shit. But anyway, let me present a list of things I will change slash add cause I am entitled piece of garbage. But let me start with the things I like for some positive reinforcement. I really like modifiers, especially the negative ones. I did a quick overview of them and these are actually creative sometimes, although they mainly change percentages rather than gameplay. So if you play on normal difficulty and get 85% debuff on your favorite weapon, you can still use it. There should be modifiers that disable certain skills or disable flashlight or even entire visibility like fog on the arenas. I like the new designs of zombies but come on man, they've been shitting themselves for the past 15 years and still look clean and have these buttoned up shirts. They should have went with more withered design for zombies as well as the walls. The starting area is fine as it is but the walls should be progressively more dirty and smeared with blood so you know you are closer and closer to the final fight. It would also add a layer of storytelling that some people tried and failed to reach the top. There's not much to say about the nests, these are just nests and it's good to have them back, although they should add voice lines so they scream for help in English. What a horror would that be and also add another layer of storytelling that someone who tried to reach the top met such horrible fate. I really liked some arena designs like the anomaly fight as well as the rooftop, though on the other floors there is not much variety. And although anomaly fight lacked verticality, it was nice to see that Techland tries to come up with something good. I don't know if it was because of mod I'm using, but sometimes I literally had like 20 or 30 zombies in one room and had to fight through them. But if it wasn't the mod's fault, ultimate props for Techland for adding such numbers. I really liked how I had to struggle sometimes and do things with more thought and tactic in them rather than rush. And it worked like that even on normal mode. 
It's a great idea to have a rooftop fight, but can be massively improved on. I will give you some ideas in just a minute, so be patient. I like how it's random that sometimes you get on floor 14 and sometimes on 20. I also love how on each floor there is new modifier that may change your playstyle. And I also love the music, although it feels like Doom 2 rather than Eternal, it's still a nice addition that it is in the game and they didn't just reuse base game soundtrack. Another bravo for Techland. And now, list of things I would love to see. So first things first, bouncing into zombies. I noticed under my previous video how some people have issue with zombies not stumbling when you jump onto them. And don't worry, I died to this many, many, many times too. And also during the raid sometimes, so this should be the top priority to add with whichever new update comes first. The next thing on the list is hub area. I would really like if the game was separate from the base game and it had an entire hub area in which you could spend something like hope coins, which you could collect not only by completing the raid, but also by exploring, encouraging to not speedrun the thing, but rather explore every room. The hub should also be built like a parkour course, with hidden things, kind of like the fish eye, but smaller, where you can actually order a drink in the bar. This idea is something I would like you to push out the most, and if you haven't done the survey yet, keep in mind to include this idea as a feedback. The next thing is loadouts, like only zombies say. With loadouts it would encourage to explore the rooms in search for better gear or different weapon if you have negative modifier on your current one. It's a great idea for him. And another idea from him is stacking modifiers. But for that to work, Techland should overhaul current ones, cause stacking modifier with 85% negative damage for slashing weapons and then getting 60% more damage on slashing weapons would be weird. But stacking modifiers like I mentioned previously where you would have a fog and a flashlight off only hearing screams and footsteps of runners, this would be an intense and memorable experience but also it should be balanced so you don't get damage from nowhere. The next thing are rewards, something like grappling hook skins or exotic weapons that are made only for tower raid and are not present in the base game, kind of like in the bloody ties DLC. And another big one is better arenas. I mentioned before something that I called arena design. And what I meant by that is that arena should have a circular build. In Doom Eternal, no matter what, arenas are made for you to circle around them. In most of Quake-like games, you have this feature, and that's why the arenas are so legendary. This would work perfectly in Tower Raid, where you would have to circle around semi-big arena, fighting off zombies on the ledges while runners or volatiles are chasing you. There is a room where you have to wait for door to open, but the arena is not designed for you to run around, everything is off -center and you miss a lot of jumps because of it. It looks like a good arena with ropes and monkey bars, but once you play on it, it's not as enjoyable. So what I would prefer is a little smaller arenas, but with more verticality, so it's interesting. They did it on Haran map in Bloody Ties DLC, where the map is actually good and takes time to master, but once you do, it's absolutely enjoyable, so I know Techland can pull this off. The next point is less gear and more useful gear. This ties to the loadout system idea and the hub idea, where you would spend coins for better gear, and also the gear you find during the playthrough would be more useful like collecting more flares or crafting items. Cause for now with exotic rose axe and some other exotic weapons, I don't need this engine bludgeon or spongebob or whatever that thing is called, but something that I will use during the game mode. It should be end game content for me to collect some cool skins, cause I already have everything else anyway. And this also ties to the roguelike experience, and again, tying to the hub idea you would have loadouts and coins to buy better gear, for the tower, kind of like Tarkov or Dark and Darker, but in Dying Light and done with the soul of Dying Light in it, rather than copy pasting. And also more valuable loot. I want to see some new cool designs that are not behind paywall. Another big one is new zombie variant. Imagine the dread where the modifier is a zombie icon only with the description it's hunting you. You don't know what is hunting you and you don't know when it strikes. There should be new zombie variant like Stalker that might only appear, hit you a couple of times, you hit it back and it runs away. Kind of like a boss fight but stretched throughout the floor. That would be absolutely great. The next thing is more like a rant rather than actual point, but difficulty doesn't equal more damage, but difficulty should equal 
more enjoyment. There should be more tweaks to the nightmare difficulty and in my opinion they should lower the damage a bit so you die in like 3 or 4 hits rather than 2 and also nerf Aiden to some more extent like medkits heal less or that you need more crafting items to craft something and also weapons have less durability. It should be a improved hardcore experience rather than just adding bigger damage and calling it a day. The next thing is obstacle courses and traversal, like in VNC tower where you had to climb to reach new floor and also changing elevator rooms where sometimes there is floor missing or you have to evade electricity. This addition could add another layer to the randomness of the tower and imagine the scene where volatiles are chasing you and you jump to the chasm onto the ladder that leads to the elevator. Sounds familiar? And it ties to another point which is extraction point where you would have to use paraglider or grappling hook to reach the point. Intense of course, but not frustrating to the point where you die to it. It should be a cherry on top to finish the run with collected loot rather than frustrating like some of the parkour courses in the base game. I'm looking at you Alice. There would be circles that you have to fly through to collect some more coins and with different colors, so the more risky ones give you more coins but are, well, more risky. The next thing on the list is packed with detail environment. The main area is lacking and going to offices sometimes feel like custom map rather than official map, so adding some more details would be on point. The next thing is that rooftop fight should take more inspiration from Left 4 Dead 2 where you would have to fill generators for the chest to continue opening or even turn on the lights. Something that makes you run around while being chased, keeping you on your toes and on the edge of the seat. And lastly, Gritty is not fixed, so please Techland, fix Gritty. Now for the second part of the video, which will be short, I will do a quick overview of difficulty. Playing on normal is easy. Your first playthrough will be longer, but any other than that might as well be a speedrun. And there is a elite mode, and oh boy, let me tell you that playing on elite mode, while also having hard mode on, is the way tower raids should be played. You have to take things slower, as well as think everything through, cause one wrong step might be your doom. Also flares are lower accurate in this mode and will actually save your ass a million times. So always keep a handful of them on yourself, cause you never know what is going to happen. I couldn't reach the top while playing like this. I tried a couple of times and was close, but something killed me like a random explosion or, well, getting stuck on zombies that don't stumble. But even when I wanted to speedrun it, I was dying even faster. So if you want to finish elite mode on hard, you must take things slower and be prepared for this. I haven't tried Nightmare on Elite because the only thing that changes is that you get more damage and I'm playing on tactical stamina anyway. But if you are a madman that has enough grit to do this on Nightmare, sincere congratulations. But in terms of difficulty, for your first playthrough you should pick normal difficulty to get a feeling of things, but to really see tower raid shine in its current state of course, play on hard on Elite setting, or just play on Nightmare with normal tower. So that's it for the video, I hope you liked it and some ideas sound good to you and see you later. Also don't forget to somehow push out the idea of a hub area, it's something that must be in the game mode. Anyway have a nice day, slashing your way to the top.